Hi. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a roguelike called Rogue Book, and this roguelike was a Slade the Spire clone. It turned out this Slade the Spire clone is actually good enough to rival Slay the Spire. But tragically, this video game, this roguelike, dwindled in obscurity. How can that be? Let me show you Rogue Book. Be quiet, be quiet. Let me show you Rogue Book. It is a Slay the Spire clone. It steals wholesale Slay the Spire's premise, which is a roguelike deck builder, but with a wonderful, awesome twist, and that is you have, I mean, it's one deck, but you have two characters. <laughs> I'm going to pick Wise this guy. Choice. You have two characters, and they each have their own cards. Open the door, open the door. Uh, this is the permanent progression screen. I have a lot of ways to improve it. Let me just ignore it for now. I want to go straight to act one. Usually I like to start a video like in the middle of a run, but starting the run showcases a lot of the mechanics. So let's just start here. The epilogues are pretty much the ascension challenge, the ascending level of difficulty. I'm going to pick ones that I am familiar with because I don't want to deal with new mechanics as I am trying to explain the video game. I don't want to show that I'm learning. I want to just explain to you what I'm doing. Explorer sounds pretty good, and let's go with Gladiator, and that is better than, like, it is higher than what I've done. So let's just start. Open that door into the land of Storybook. These characters, they are stuck in this weird-ass storybook, and they have to go through the, the trials and tribulations <laughs> to make their way out of it, I suppose. We start with a bunch of items. Kappa Bongo. The third time you land a hit each turn, gain five blocks. Super. Clash Stone. The cost of one. This costs one energy less. Uh, that's because. Oh, it gives melee to a card. Warren Diamond. All right, all right. And Royal Ink. So, you have two characters. You hit that deck screen. These belong to Shara, the white ones. Or I guess silver ones, ivory ones. And the black with the red banner belong to whatever the cipher i think is his name only five each right and during combat these are the ones that will be used by shara these are the ones that will be used by cipher and the way you build the deck is taking the most advantage of all the synergies between them you don't upgrade cards in the way that you would upgrade them in slay the spire you put gems into their sockets thousand cuts let's put they make this melee and that will make it cost less right there you go going in there cost less when shara is at the front reposed uh, mm, sure well, we're going to make this into this works put the retain gem into it that way i can just keep it in my hand whenever i don't need it it can stay in my hand this guy is the shop Try not to eat he's anything. always here you can always come back to him so you just try to make money and come back to him buy the things that you want it is good to you know look to see what you can aim for nothing that really excites me this is good the Therian shield gives you more shield all the time this is a good card I like it allies are basically little minions that do things for you during battle I haven't seen this one before. Ally is spiritless. Whenever the enemy hero takes damage, you gain one energy. That's pretty useful. All right, all right. There's there's some decent stuff here that we can buy. For now, though, let's check out this Vault of Wisdom, which is apparently mandatory but free. Usually, it costs money to draft a a card. In this one, you have to do it. Evil grin. Charge. Draw a card. Until. Your next turn, whatever cipher gains rage, he gains twice the normal amount. Uh, I mean, this is basically a free thing because it draws a card. So we're going to go with it. Like it. Let's do a battle. That's where all the mechanics are going to be very apparent. What, how everything works. 
So here's the battle screen where you're going to do most of your thinking. Two characters, whoever is in front takes the damage unless they have peers. So, you know, you want to have the person in front, the one that you want to tank the damage or the one that uh, I guess is, can take it more. It is not up to you though. You can't just swap them. I can't just drag them. It is through your cars that you're going to be, well, be able to swap them back and forth. Hmm. This will get him in the front. Shara is less of a tank than this fellow. This fellow is all about doing damage and healing back. So we definitely want him at the front most of the time. Probably he'll end up at the front most combats. Seems like I have 12 and 16 right here, so that is enough to kill and I don't have to worry about it. Might as well uh, put this on. Swap back and forth. Reap. There you go. Oh, wonderful. You dead. And now I get, I get to end the turn. I'm just uh, he's going to do his thing. He blocked. Now he has an attack for 16. Mm, this will cost less if she's at the front. But do I have ways of getting back? Yeah, he has a defend, which will put him back at the front. So, but of course, I only have so much mana energy. Mm, it's not enough to kill. Seven block is not enough. Seven and six is not enough. But almost, I'm willing to take a little bit of damage. But we don't really have to. Actually, yeah, we, we do have to take a little bit of damage. Yeah, you will take a little bit of damage. Do this, and then she'll be at the front. And then we end the turn with this defend. Right, because this dragon... Oh, this dragon is enough, because when she's at the front, she gets three power, which is plus three to all damage. So I did all that thank you for nothing. There you go. Kill the monster without having to take damage awesome stuff so that's a battle you seek them out they give you resources the way it works when i have the thing enabled usually you start with a lot of these and none of these when i enable the challenge you start with none of these and a lot of these and uh you go around fighting enemies to get more of these what they do is, you see how it's all grayed out? Well, they reveal the tiles to be able to traverse. Let's use this precision ink to reveal just this one tile. And now I have access to this other fight. But might as well grab all the things that are not fights. Maybe I can give myself some extra. Oh, I don't have room to, uh, because they don't stack, but it's okay. They don't deplete, they simply stay on the floor. Let's draft another card. Hmm. To solve up to three cards in your hand, add that many daggers. Charge, attack for ten, and draw a card. That that's, seems to me this is excellent. This is an excellent attack card. Or you can do a little bit more damage and then summon a minion. Let's just go for the bog standard attack and draw a card. Can't go wrong with that. Let's do another fight. We're going to just do the first act in this video. And uh, it'll show you everything that this game is all about. We got two people. They are currently preparing, just making some ninja poses, intimidating Shara and Cypher, trying to get you to flee. And in three turns, they're going to turn on the massive pile of damage that they can do. Might as well throw one of these in. If something that there's something that does bother me though, something that I have never. I have yet to figure out and I don't think that it exists and oh you draw a card but if you use this and then you get a strike nice um there's no way to tell which card will make them swap position and which won't attacks with charge will and anything that gains block will I think that's the pattern that I've seen, but there's no icon. There's nothing that tells you, hey, this will actually make them swap positions. Anyway, we're just going to do as many strikes as possible. You can attack from the back and hopefully uh, next turn we'll draw some attacks that will stop him from attacking me for freaking 23 points of damage. 
Oh yeah, we got a thousand cuts. Get destroyed, scumlord. All right, good stuff. The difficulty seems to be pretty well balanced. I would say, you know, I am in low, quote unquote, ascension levels. If you remember your, or if you haven't played, but if you have played it, if you remember your Slay the Spire experience, the game is pretty easy until you get to the high ascension levels and then it just pushes your shit in. Um, I expect the same thing with Roguebook. Like, it's pretty easy right now. I feel it's pretty well balanced. It's just going to get more and more difficult as I keep picking uh, more levels of difficulty. When these blocks deal twice as much damage to the leading enemy instead. Let's check out the deck. What that means is that instead of blocking, you're going to get two times damage. Do I want that for any of my blocking cards? And the answer is no, so we're not going to pick that. The Warden's Diamond, you really can't go wrong with that. Anything that gives retain to a to a good card is good. Absorb Soul, eh. I mean, it's nice to have retain on this, because then you use it to heal for eight life when you really want to. So yeah, let's do it. There are much better upgrades, but let's just use the upgrades as we get them. The heart will give you back some health when you use it. 10 health for, for both of your heroes. Shadow Strike, attack 3 for 3 twice, discard a card. Dark Temper, charge, attack for 12. Whenever you add a card to your deck, this gains plus 1 attack permanently. It is really early to get this. Absolutely. We're going to put that in our deck and uh, it was uh, when we draft cards we all also improve our card we find this gauntlet of might which gives plus one power she seems to be doing most of the damage right now so give it to her and uh let's do this battle right here get ourselves some more brushes so we can continue discovering the the terrain the storybook page we want to do as much damage as possible there is 23 damage coming my way. Don't like it. Don't appreciate it. I don't think that you should do it, but I mean, I cannot stop you from attacking me in such a rude manner. What I will have you do is uh, hit this fatso instead of my fair lady that does mo most of my damage. Um, do I want to defend or do I just want to do a bunch of damage? Oh, when you're at the front. When you're at the front, you do a lot less damage with this on, which is something that he he is doing because he has a debuff. Uh, only one energy. I guess we'll just block and take 10. I really like how when you hover over end turn, it's going to tell you how much damage you're going to take. You don't need to do the math. I appreciate that because, you know... It's always a pain in the ass to calculate just exactly how much damage am I going to be taking out of this. Alright, so from behind we're going to do better damage than from the front. Not her, because when she's on the front she does an extra bit of damage, but uh, it kind of evens out with the aura of weakness. This fight, it, I think, is just a DPS race. There's just no real way to defend myself against this horrible aggression. So I think... I mean, we can do both of these and we still get to attack especially when we do like this let me do that then a thousand cuts for one and then defend and he gets the hit and hopefully we can end the fight with this absorb soul i don't know where the oh, i think yeah the third time you land a hit each turn gain five block that's what saved my my ass right there i did not realize that that was going to happen Mm. I'm not gaining any rage. Rage is his mechanic, and once you get to 25 rage, your cards get improved. Most of them do. Let's lunge. Let's do basically do as much damage as possible here. Do the melee. I think we should be able to reap next turn. He's only going to buff. Doesn't seem that he's going to. Oh, I sh no, that's fine. Attacking from the front is fine. Um, just end the turn and just leave him at 3 end the turn and thanks to having retain on this I'll be able to gain back 8 health 
on the fat zone. There you go. Oh, almost healed back to full. Is that it? Yeah, this is, is a, is a deck builder. This is how it works. You have seen it in all the deck builders out there. And I'm just trying to show how really good at it Rogue Book is. I have been so impressed by the way this game is designed. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I like the, like the look of it. Sure, it's a little generic, but it looks pretty. I like the look of it. Uh, I want to get to that battle. I want to get to this battle. This is a three space ink. This is a five space ink. I really want to get to that. Can I get there? I mean, I could use two inks to get there from here. Or maybe I could just use a... Ah, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll go to somewhere to maximize the area as much as possible. Maybe over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll use it here. Reveal a bunch of gold. Give me that gold. And then we'll use the three space ink to make it to the tower, which is like your number one goal when you're exploring these pages. Because it means... You know, it's going to reveal the most uh, area possible. This will give you extra energy. You can find multiple and it will make your life easier. Let's draft some more cards. Fan of knives. Oh, I don't like I don't like that fan of knife, knives thing. And, and right now I'm not knife based, so we're going to forget about it. Mm, although dissolving a bad card is actually pretty good. And these two, they're okay. Sulfuric barrier is okay. Let's just take that fan of knives. In Rogue Book, you cannot get rid of cards that I have seen. You're always adding cards. So anything that allows you to dissolve a card in hand is actually pretty good. So uh really should up my valuation. Alright, so we want the fat so to take the hit. Mm, we're gonna have actually we can just defend three times and that should be good enough. Not quite. Oh, I have one more energy. I want to lunge because that will... That's right, we have the Orb of Faria, which gives me a little bit more energy. So I guess you just get a regular strike. Uh, I could have played that much better, do a little bit more damage. But uh, not that big a deal. Um, let's do one of the... Actually, we want her at the front, but see, we don't have a card right now that allows me to be at the front with her so I have no real way of using this thousand cuts from the front that being said also not a whole lot of defense let's use this simply because it will give me a card flame lick it will also give me another card might as well throw it out only did five because he's got this thing where every second attack does half damage infuriating and what we can do is use this fan of knives Dissolve this strike it will give me a, a pile of daggers. Uh, uh, excuse me, it was supposed to give me three daggers. What happened there? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Dissolve up to three cards in your hand. I don't know many daggers. I misunderstood. I thought he gave me three daggers for one dissolved card. Uh, not as good then as I thought it was. <laughs> Pretty ass. Uh, do I want to defend? Sure. Yeah, I'll defend. And we'll retain all this nonsense. Or maybe I can just do a pile of damage and have him take 12. That's fine. He is capable of healing himself. And we got a little bit of health back. I mean, of block, thanks to the drums. All right, there's Dark Temper. He is now enraged. So many of these cards become better. We definitely want to end with this enraged reap. Do we get to do it, though? I don't think we're going to be able to. Maybe my daggers will be able to do it. Do that. 24 on this. So we have to do 16. Each dagger does... Oh, we also need the, the two energy here. I think what we want to do is... You don't want to take the 13, that would be silly. I actually don't think I can do it simply because of the way 
the way that his uh, protection works. So I really cannot do it. Let me just do one of these. We're going to dissolve this strike. Or I can just dissolve everything else. Give myself all the daggers. Am I a genius? I am a freaking genius? Oh, but still not gonna be enough, is it? Simply because of the way that, uh... This stupid thing takes half damage every second hit. is not good enough. Doesn't tell me how, how much damage it's gonna do, unfortunately. Every second hit. I think this will do 24? Yeah! <laughs> Too smart! Get wrecked! Alright, awesome. <laughs> Just <laughs> give me another brush. And uh, the more cards you draft, you get talent points. Or rather, what are these called? Yeah, they are talent points. Alright. Uh, this, you know, unlocks at the number of cards that you got. And they give you nice bonuses. Once per battle, click on Shara to attack the leading enemy for 15 and retreat. That is very nice, very helpful. Life tap. When an enemy dies, if it wasn't a summon, Cypher heals three life. That's also super powerful. Charismatic. Allies cost one less. I have zero allies in my deck. But this is one of the most powerful upgrades you can possibly have. I could just operate under the assumption that I'm going to have some allies. So we're going to pick Charismatic. And in fact, we can just go to the shop because I remember there was one for sale. Actually, let me hit on this. Rune of Sight reveals something in the map. Very, very far, unfortunately. Uh, we probably won't get there. It's a lot of money, though. So it, it may be worth getting there. Let's draft a card. Nine block retreat is decent. Let's grab this outlaw. We really seem to be going for daggers. This guy will give me a dagger every turn. And that is an ally, so therefore he costs one less. Therefore he is free to play when we draw him. Let's see. Let's actually buy every possible ally that I can see. There's an ally right there. Whenever the hero swap, gain block equal to this ally spirit, which is the two right there. We have 377. Horse Master is so nice just to be able to swap at will. You can activate your allies. You'll see in the next battle. It's very, very straightforward. And then you have the Battle Rager. Whenever any hero takes damage, you gain one energy. I think I'll have these two guys. We have enough for both. And uh, if I have enough cash, we'll go for the Battle Rager, I guess. Or I think I'll rather get one of these shields. Either way, let's leave the shop. Go. That's an elite fight. Hmm, do I have... This is the only ink that I have. So I can just stand here. And I can use one of these brushes to reveal only those, huh? I think I would rather stand here and use the royal ink to reveal this big pathway. Hey, look at that. Nice. A little bit more energy to go. We're going to fight another fight right here. Let's see how the allies are now free! awesome put them in play now we are incentivized to swap all the time well she does seven times three is 21 from the front there's also flame lick only have a strike though but i can swap them whenever i please we're receiving 16 however so we want to end up with that dude at the front do the thought let's get rid of the freaking ghost go and then a uh, strike will do it here's your flame lick actually i would rather swap first oh but now it doesn't do as much damage right eh, whatever attack sure and you take a little bit of damage not a big deal he's also aggressive so on top of being able to activate him whenever you want he attacks at the end of the turn for whatever the spirit value is uh, he's only buffing. We want to do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, we did not grab a whole lot of damage cards. Maybe we'll draw something good. Uh, let's literally dissolve all the defense. Give myself damage, damage, damage. Uh, wait, we want to use this from the back. This. Attacks for 11. And we can just keep this. 
We can keep this until the next turn. Because it retains. Anything that says stacks, it means that it will stay in your in your hand. Absorb soul. I don't think I'm gonna have enough for absorb soul. That is uh, that is six. That's eleven. And eleven is twenty-two. Not good enough. I guess we'll just do uh, one swap, and then we'll get the fat so at the front again. Let's see. The third time you land a hit each turn, so I cannot do it right now. We're just going to take a little bit of damage. It's not that big a deal. Because we're going to reap his soul out of his eye sockets. Might as well play this because you get a uh, card. We're going to... Well, actually, it's all strikes. Huh? But I don't have enough energy to for everything. We want to absorb soul at the end, which means we only have enough energy to play one of them. It will be Dark Temper. We're going to dissolve these three. Look at that. And now Shara will throw out these daggers. Build up the block. You, you can already see the synergies. 11, huh? You actually need to play this. Yeah, yeah. You play it. And there you go. Oh! Reap that health back. Wasting my time. Amazing. So it's not easy. It's not like hard. It's. I feel it's so nicely balanced. Those those fights really enjoy it i've been so so in love with this game i feel like i've fallen into it the way that i did it with slay the spire i am comfortable saying it's a rival to slay the spire whenever this hero plays an ally game plus one power i want that i want that immediately uh in fact we're going to go over here and use my brushes to go get it um i'm comfortable saying i see is it as good as the greatest of all time debatable right debatable but holy crap man it gets close that's that's commendable that's amazing that you can put this next to slay the spire and say you know it's it's not slacking it is not slay the spire but worse it does its own thing you know it introduces a lot of differences that slay the spire doesn't do um and it's just it's like it has its own flavor i really really appreciate rogue book let's put out these allies right there might as well get the evil grin on uh, and since this is a charge attack oh we don't have the one that gives you block when you swap so never mind we're just going to tank 28 to the chin like a champion uh i might even use the, this doesn't dissolve you know so i can use this and hope that it, it rolls back around when my deck shuffles we're just going to use all these weapons, all these uh, cards, all these attacks, and he actually gives me five block. That's pretty decent. I'm taking a big hit though. Just kind of got unlucky with the way that worked out, but he did get enraged. Put out the glider. Fan of knives. We'll see. We'll see if we use that. He is attacking for a lot, this son of a bitch. Uh, clearly, we're going to start here at drawing those three cards. Thanks to the enraged status. And now, a little bit of thought. Thankfully, we can always swap at the end of the turn. I'm not going to leave her exposed. Uh, but maybe I want her to take the damage because she's at full health, you know, and then I can use one of my health orbs on the, in the world map. Um, so let's do this lunge. Since she's at the front, maybe this is when I want to do the the daggers. I think I might, I might have a kill here, actually. Final knife is zero. Good enough damage there. That's nine per dagger. This is only seven. The daggers do more than the friggin' strike. Anyway, nine. I can get three daggers. Nine times three is 27. Plus nine is enough to kill, baby. <laughs> Destroy all these? Man, have I changed my mind. I'm a fan of knives. That's badass. Get Rex on. Unfortunately, we didn't get to reap. But getting rid of uh, Elite, only suffering one hit. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with what just happened. A few more pages for the permanent progression. We get one 
regular ink that reveals spaces. A Blitz Sphere, which is a gem that is a one use only. Whenever you consume an ink, reveal an extra adjacent space at random. That is nice. Is there anything else on the map that we can go for? There's this battle right here, which is worth it. It's totally worth... It's totally worth exploring for. Um, and we have one of these. Let's stand over here. Use this ink. Reveal this area. Unfortunately, there was nothing to be found, but let's uh, fight this one so we can get another brush. So we can discover more. This uh, battle is a, it's a tough one. Thankfully, we drew the thousand cuts while she's at the front. You do the most damage. I guess we'll get rid of you. There you go. Just do the evil grin. Oh, I should have maybe struck at the start. Because I cannot swap again. He's just going to take 12. Actually, no, he's not going to take 12. Because you can just kill with this, right? There you go. 10 and then 16. Look at that. Give me some health back. Blocking 5. Looking great. Oh, yeah. Here's the Blitz Sphere. Deals double damage. You can just click on it. Then you click on the card. It's, it's another layer of complexity that I really appreciate. This, this game is doing so many good things. I am... Um, Consistently impressed as I continue unlocking things and, and uh, see new cards and all that stuff. This guy has protection on. Uh, but Fan of Knives doesn't give a crap about your protection, right? <laughs> We're going to... I mean, he's attacking for 11. Attacks for 17. I would like to take your freaking protection away. I think it's more than enough if I do one of these and I get rid of repost and the strike. I didn't need to get rid of this get rid of the strike, but I think it does more damage to do it like this. Uh, and then we throw a dagger from the back, gets rid of the protection. Then you do the charge. I mean you do the <laughs> attack. And you do the lunch. There you go. By the way, did No, it doesn't get dissolved. So, I can actually absorb soul another time. We just need to wait to draw it again. So, if we're patient, we can maximize the amount of health that we make back. We might as well put out the, the allies. Remember, they're only free. We get rid of your protection, you scum lord. They're only free. For some reason, I'm using these. Why not? Um, because of our uh, upgrade. Our talent choice. All right, bud. Unfortunately, did not draw what I wanted. I do have two defense, though. That six and six is... Eh, did suffer four. I still heal for more than I suffer. So I'm going to do it. A couple defense. Get rid of your silly protection. And we pass on the turn. Did not suffer any damage because of something. Something gave me defend. Don't... Don't... <laughs> don't question it. And there's the Absorb Soul. That is attack for 17, reap for, reap for 8. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful stuff. All right. I think we're almost done. Give me that brush. We're almost done exploring. I have three brushes to use in this level. So definitely you want to always maximize the amount of tiles that you uncover. This is a good spot to do it because you're uncovering mostly usable tiles. A reveals an item. Show me something valuable, something good, something amazing, but a little bit closer will be nice. That is basically an event. Most of the ones, I've seen a couple negatives, but most of the ones that you find are positive. Uh, uh, that being said, with the brushes I got, there's no way I can reach it. But, you know, it's a good goal. Try on reaching it. So we're going to go over here. What will be the closest? I guess here. Uh, we may discover by random chance... A, an ink just laying on the floor. An elite boss fight. That's awesome. Because he, he gives me an ink and maybe we can reach that narrative. Alright, this, this chapter is going to go a little bit longer than anticipated. Because we are fighting the Queen's Assassin. And this is a pretty tough fight, if I remember it right. It is pretty uh, annoying, the way that she does. That debuff that she puts, that one attack, don't be fooled, is like a poison that I think is a bleed. It's a bleed that you cannot 
block through. So you have, you're kind of on a, in a race or you're going to be losing a lot of health. 13 damage, fantastic. And then I guess we'll just strike you in the head. There you go. Doesn't really matter who's at the front. Actually, it does matter who's at the front because uh, she gets extra damage when she's at the front and he doesn't. So she should be at the front if she can tank the damage. But she is the one that took the bleed. No, that is not true. Is it true? Yeah, these are all debuffs on her. Sometimes the debuff is on whoever's at the front. Sometimes the debuff is on the character itself. All these are for the character itself. And what is concussed? Discard a random card of, the hero, of this hero at the start of the turn. Pretty annoying. Give me that horse. Oh, man, if only I had one more damage. If only I had one more damage. How can I... Is there a way I can get one more damage? So I can reap his... Oh, no, never mind. Because he has five block. I thought I, I could do it. Uh, so just melee and he'll die. Clearly not going to use the fan of knives. I would like to swap them though, or she'll take 15 to the chin. That, and she is vulnerable, so she'll take a ton more damage. If you hover over here, she, she'll take 14 damage, which is not that bad. Um, but I'll swap them. I don't want to use this. I'll just swap them. And he'll take 11. So, you know, it's bad, but not so bad. Oh, I forgot about this Blitz Sphere. We can actually do double damage with the Absorb Soul to get that, that kill shot. Play that guy. Here comes the Evil Grin. Repost has been drawn. So you got 17, 16, that's 32, 42, 49. Not enough. Not enough to, do, to get a kill here. Actually, if I give this double damage... That will be 34, plus 16 is 50. It's not enough. Well, she's only attacking for 7, but she is bleeding for 6. It's okay to just do a little bit of damage here. We'll use the defend, basically block everything, and next turn should be the kill. May even not need to use the Blitz Sphere. She's doing another bleed attack, but hopefully... We should have enough uh, enough uh, damage. She can lunge. Yeah, and with the fan of knives and all the knives, definitely gonna happen. Not even need to use the sphere. Okay, that's good. And then absorb your soul. Just eat the life essence out of you. Oh yeah. All right. So we got ourselves. What the hell is this? A golden sphere. Reap gain twenty five gold. That's awesome. Let's see if I can stack it actually. Uh, no, it only has one slot. This is a pretty good one to put the... Let's do it. There you go. Now when we kill anything with Dark Temper, we're going to get 25 gold. And we got one space, huh? That's enough to reach. That's enough to reach, baby. Uh, we are pretty low on health. Might as well use a few of these orbs. At least one. We'll use... That's nine spaces. I think if we do it for two and then use the brush, it's also nine spaces. Never mind. <laughs> At least we got to the narrative, which says, The day of judgment has come. How do you plead? Pay 109 gold and remove a card. That's the first time I ever see being able to remove cards. A chance to escape with a risk. Uh, I will not pay. I would like to fight. This isn't right. There has been no crime committed here. Shara and Cypher make a break for it, pushing their way through the wardens and guards. As they burst through the exit door, their room behind them vanishes. Whoever deserved their pun that punishment, they will never know. Wonder that's that's probably random. You either you get wrecked, or you manage to escape, or may you even get a, a positive effect. Anyway, we're going to use this money that I have so greedily kept in my pocket. Probably get ourselves. Let's see, and one diamond, a rough diamond. We got 355. We can also save it for the next, uh, for the next chapter, the next act. But I like this. We're going to give it. Who uses most of the blocks? Who uses most of the blocks? I think 
they are pretty even right now. Let's just give it to Cypher, I guess. There you go. And we'll grab this rough diamond. Because I don't think I want any of these cards. I mean, the smoke bomb is nice. I don't think we need it, though. I mean, my block is pretty ass right now. Maybe I want this smoke bomb instead of the rough diamond. Nah, let's just grab the diamond. Because the nice part of this is like you can put this in an attack and you get so much more value out of something like that, you know? But that being said, probably you want to put in this repost. Give yourself more block because the more block it has, the more chances it has to activate its ability. Which is giving you a dagger for every uh, time that you fully block an attack. I think that's what it does. Anyway, one more precision ink. Let's just go over here. Use this ink to just reveal a couple tiles. Nothing in it. Let's do the boss fight. Might as well go in there with full health. Nice. Let's see who we get. So far, I think I've seen... I want to say three... Maybe four Act 1 bosses. I think that's the total. I've seen this guy before. You basically want to attack these two guys, the, the carriers, and then this guy will uh, receive more damage. All right. We want the allies to be out there. We're going to do some damage to the front dude. Give me some damage. It is ass. I got nothing. <laughs> do I want to dissolve this strike? And give myself a dagger. Because strikes are, are just kind of crap, right? So if you have a chance, I think that makes a lot of sense. If you have a chance to get rid of the ass of the ass cards, you might as well do it. And you know, the, that was not a very powerful hit, so we're fine. I would like to get to the front. Unfortunately, nobody is capable of swapping. That being said, you can just click here. Oh, thousand cuts is now enabled. Um, in fact, we can do 25 to the guy at the back. Or probably want to do this 10. So we can just... There's an, a sore soul. Do a 10 here. Then... I want to get that to the 25. That will allow me... I think I'm going to use these. Allow me to do... Extra damage. That was a mistake. Oh, I didn't have enough. Oh, but I do have the Blitz Sphere. That's okay. We're going to use the Blitz Sphere on Thousand Cuts. And this is going to just obliterate this son of a bitch. I could just. Uh, they share the health pool. So you can just. Uh, eh, just go there. there you go. Destruction! Um, and then use the vent. Even though he has been hurt, he still has more health. He still has more health than Shara, so he might as well tank him. Not a big deal, just one point of health. Awesome. I am sure that the further up I go in the scale of quote unquote ascension, the more challenging these fights will become. And it will become one of those situations where it's just painful to play the game, like Ascension 20, Slay the Spire. Anyway. Hmm. Do I have enough for 24? No. And the only block I got is this repost. But we can swap a whole bunch. We're going to start here. And then... Dark Temper? Mm, do I want to? You don't really care about holding this. Because at the end of the act, you heal up. Let me swap. And then lunge. There you go. And then end up with dark temper. And I have swapped enough. Because one more attack will do it? No. Uh, but a dagger will. So let's throw out the dagger right here. Oh, why am I not attacking the guy in the back? Man? It will make sure that this guy gets vulnerable. And now I have enough block to block that garbage. And I think we have the repost. So that means we're going to get a bunch of daggers. Out of these nonsense. At least one. Get wrecked, idiot. 
All right, 72 health. Slowly getting there. Attacking him with 36, though. <laughs> kind of kind of going crazy over there. Um, 72, though. We can, we can make this happen. And maybe we may... We may even have a kill here. I don't think I can reach 72, though. If I had... What's it called? A thousand cuts. We may be able to get there. I don't think I can. So we're going to... Or just lunge. Throw out the daggers. Only six? Oh, he cast an aura of weakness. But it ain't right. It just ain't right. It's what we can do. I think I'm just going to try and defend through this. Get that repost. And the constant swapping gives me so much extra uh, extra defense. Hit that again, and you know, taking 10. That's okay. They're down to 55. Now with 1,000 cuts, I should be able to absolutely trounce them. Hopefully we get... I'll play that. I'm hoping to get... They don't dissolve, do they? It's not dissolved. Dark Temper dissolved? Oh, because I put that Reap on it. And uh, I didn't realize that. Either way... This is, this, this is done. This is done, buddy. We're, I'm going to absolutely obliterate you. And I don't need to end in Absorbed Soul simply because... Um, get destroyed. Because the end of the act means that you heal up. Anyway, that's been 50 minutes. Didn't realize. Almost almost 50 minutes. Didn't realize that this was going so long. Vial of Rejuvenation. We get a... Uh, that heals everything, takes off all the bad cards that have been used, uh, added to your deck. Medallion of Insight. At the start of each battle, inflict critical hit on an enemy. Whenever you will deal less than 8 damage to an enemy, deal 8. And the start of each battle, out 4. Kalim's Prayer to your deck. This is awesome. I take it every single time and I never regret it. Basically adds a ton of, of draw to your to your deck. Some extra. All the inks for the next... Oh. You throw the item to the portal. I didn't even realize that happened. Uh, we're going to find it on the floor in the next level. That I, I really like that. Um, and then this token, you either get a really nice gem to upgrade a card. Draw a card for each eight cards in your draw pile, which is okay. Or you can get this collection of cards, and they are all good. Lead is very good because we have a bunch of allies. Warcry is nice. It's not the greatest, but it's nice. And then promote is also very, very good. Uh, give an, uh, one of your allies plus four spirit and then you summon another ally. It's, it's really good. So there you go. Another talent tier has been unlocked because we have enough cards. Courage at the start of your turn. Gain one energy and lose a stack of courage. Resilience. Oh, this, uh, whenever a Shara takes damage, she gains two stacks of courage. I don't want anything that gives me things when I take damage. I take no damage. That is the goal. Gain 15 more gold per battle. I could get behind that. Um, the shop charges 25% less gold. I think between these two, this is probably much better. So we're going to be bargain hunters from now on. And then we continue on to the second chapter. If you're into this, totally get it. I don't know how much it sells for right now. It is a fairly, I wouldn't say old, but it's like maybe three, two years old. It is so good. I am just shocked as how good of a deck builder this is. The more I play it, the more I want to play it, just like Slay the Spire was. Super recommended. Two thumbs up. Give it your money. I don't know if the developers deserve it. I never look into that kind of stuff. The game is good. Pay money for it. You will not regret it.